Hello, Divine Feminines. I just wanted to pop in here with a collective update and channeled message for those that are really resonating with living their most authentic truth. I wanted to just shine a light on what's really going on in case you find yourself stuck in what appears to be a place of stagnancy um, or where you feel like you're kind of being held back from really moving into a higher timeline. And so what's really happening right now is you've probably been experiencing, if you're resonating with this message, a lot of synchronicity, a lot of heightened intuition, and a lot of circumstances reflecting back to you what has been out of alignment. And so you are being called to a choice point. This is an inner calling from your soul positioning you in 3D circumstances for you to be able to surrender to what the heart already knows, what your soul is calling you towards. And so what appears to be happening is a lot of fear-based energy around your path and around what's in alignment for you. And so what's really being asked of you at this time is to surrender to the, heart, to the heart and trust in the unknown and be able to make decisions from a heart-centered place, not a fear-based place. New earth energy is here, but it will not allow fear-based uh, decision-making. You can't live from fear and be in alignment with the new earth energy. So this is all divinely guided as part of your path to move into, you know, new earth, higher consciousness, 5D, whatever you want to call it, whatever label you want to use. This moving into pure, true authenticity that is that is a result of fusing with your human experience with the ultimate truth and reality of who you truly are can feel like a gridlock and can feel like stagnancy but what's really ultimately happening is you are being shown all of the places that are out of alignment and are out of integrity and are not authentic to you or your path or your highest timeline or what you came here to do or what you already know to be true in your heart. And you already know this. So the only reason this is resonating with you is because I'm speaking to those that already know this. So if this isn't resonating with you, this may resonate at a different time. But right now, I'm just reminding you of what you already know, which means you're at the cusp of fully moving into a whole new paradigm and way of being, a way of existing, which is a really big signpost that you're moving into fully embodying new earth energy and moving into 5D consciousness that is rooted in unity, love, freedom, harmony, compassion, integrity, authenticity, the highest truths, right? You know, earlier on this journey, you were initiated in many, many different ways. And many of you, part of that initiation has been your twin flame, which right now, if you're resonating with this, you likely, that's probably a very, like it still pops into your mind, but that's not your focus anymore you see that for what it is and you understand the purpose of that activation and you are full blown on your moving through your highest timeline to fully embodying this unity consciousness and everything that's been part of your journey up to now has perfectly aligned you for this and you have nothing but deep love and respect for all of it, right? But this is a 
key point right now in the journey where you're graduating from old earth energy, which really just marks the beginning of a whole new way of being, a whole new way of experiencing life, a whole new way of opening and allowing and receiving and and living fully, fully, fully anchored in your divinity as your primary sense of self, your divine self, while also fully, fully honoring your human experience. A whole new adventure awaits. One that is not rooted in fear, one that is not rooted in codependency, one that is not rooted in self-doubt, one that is not rooted in self-abandonment, one that is not rooted in greed or manipulation or competition or any of those things that are out of integrity with your true nature, the ultimate truth of reality, which is love, which is unity with all things. And you are here as a way shower. You are here as a new paradigm leader to fully step into this and fully embody it on the deepest level. So what appears as stagnancy now or what appears as these fear-based rabbit holes that you might be going down, these are really just here so you can consciously choose. And who's doing the choosing? Your soul. Your soul is choosing now to experience itself in this 3D reality. The divine is ready to experience itself through you in this 3D reality. You're being guided to trust your intuition and trust what your heart already knows. Despite the logical, analytical mind and despite the fear. So there's going to be things popping up where you have a choice to make, a conscious choice to make. Do you choose your most authentic truth? Do you choose your highest integrity? Do you choose what's in alignment with your values? Or do you settle, compromise, or make fear-based decisions? The thing with this is, is you're not going to know what it looks like. You're not going to be able to see three moves ahead. Heart-centered living, as you move into unity consciousness, requires you to trust in your knowing and also simultaneously in the unknown and the unseen. So the, the, the mind will love to know what's going to happen and see three or five moves down the road so it can have this false sense of security or safety there but it's so it's going to try to hook you into compromising your values uh, because of the fear that comes up as you step into the unknown but heart-centered living requires that you're able to trust in the unknown and the unseen and this isn't just a blind trust that's just rooted in you know, wishful thinking. That's not what this is. Fully, fully trusting and knowing in who you are, that you are a divine being, that you are a child of God, that you are connected to all things and you are divinely guided and supported always. And fully, fully, fully knowing and trusting in that allows you to step through the flames, through the fire, right? Through the, through the flames of fear. Because you're so, you're, you're so in union with the divine source within you that created you, which is really what union means. A lot of uh, divine feminines think union on this journey. For the first half of this journey, you think union means something regarding you and your twin flame, but your twin flame is a catalyst that has sparked this awakening. 
Union is you coming home to your true sacred heart, who you truly are, the God essence. I like to say goddess as God essence within you. And when you can live in the flow with your divine nature in full union with the God essence within you, the goddess within you, things begin to work out in the most magical ways that never could have been conceptually figured out, strategized, or understood. You live in a sea of energy. You are a sea of energy. You are infinite consciousness. This entire reality that you see with the naked eye is an illusion. It's all energy. It's all consciousness. There is no separation. You are connected to all things. How could you not be fully supported? You are supported. You are loved, you are divinely guided, you are divinely protected always and in all ways. And when you fully know that in your heart and there is no more separation between you, the one that you perceive to be you, your humanness and your creator, You can rest in trust and full faith in this knowing. This is where your divine confidence comes from. This is where your courage to act on faith comes from. This is where apparent miracles popping into your experience come from. So I will leave it there. I hope this resonated with you. If it did, please let me know. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, I hope this finds you well. Namaste.